Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform a custom sort in Google Sheets. Alright, so unlike Excel, Google Sheets doesn't offer the custom sort feature, but there's still a few workarounds that we can use to perform a custom sort. In this video, I'm going to show you two different approaches to perform a custom sort in Google Sheets. Alright, so let's take a look at uh, approach number one. Alright, so here in my Google Sheets, I have this data table. And I want to sort this table by payment methods first. And this list is going to be the orders that I want to sort the payment methods by. And the table in column I is my expand result. So here we have cash first, followed by Visa, MasterCard, American Express, check and order. Then within each payment method, we're going to sort the amount from the largest to the smallest. All right, so here, uh, let's go back to the uh, source table. So here in column D, I'm going to insert a helper column. I'll name the column sequence order. And going back to my uh, reference, my sorting order reference, I'm actually going to insert another helper column tied to the reference table. And I'll name the helper column sequence order. And I'll assign the sequence number to each uh, payment method. Now going back to the uh, sequence order column, here I'm going to insert a feed lookup function. Here I want to look at the payment method. And I want to return the sequence order based on the reference table. And here I'm going to plus F4 to lock the cell reference. And my return count index is going to be 2. And for the is sort of uh, parameter value, I'm going to set this to false. And enter. Now I'm going to autofill the formula. In count this, I'm going to fill the uh, sequence order tied to each payment method. At this point, you can select the table, go to data, go to uh, sort range, click on advanced range sorting options. I'm going to check data has header row. And here I'm going to sort my table by sequence order from A to Z. Then I'll add another sort column. And for this one, I'm going to choose the amount. And I want to uh, sort the value from C to A and sort. Now here we have the result that is sorted by payment method first, followed by the amount. Now let's go to method number two. All right, so for method number two, we're going to use the formula to populate the uh, sorted table. All right, so here uh, in column G, I'm actually going to use a match function. And my lookup value is going to be uh, my payment method cell range. In comma. And my lookup range is going to be the uh, payment method reference. Comma. And for the search type, I'm going to set this to false to set that to exact match. Now if I enter the formula, and it's going to return 5. But if we wrap the output with the uh, sort function, I want to sort the uh, cell range from A to column A to C. Come on. All right, so we already have the uh, the sort column value provided, which is this match function right here. Now for the ascending parameter, I'm going to set that to two. Meaning that based on the outputs coming from the match function, we want to sort the value from uh, A to C. Next, I want to specify the uh, second sort column. And it's going to be column C, so it's going to be column index 3. And for the ascending order, and this time I'm going to set that to false because I want to set the amount from largest to the smallest. And close parenthesis, enter the formula. And the formula is returning on A because, oh, here, the sort function has mismatch range. If I go back to my formula, and here I notice that this should be A2 to C21, and enter. And the formula will now populate the table that is sorted based by the payment method first, followed by the amount. Now I can grab the count headers and just copy and paste. And I can merely format the table. And that's it. All right, so this is going to be everything I'm going to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.